I really want people to get from my music, if I had to leave some kind of legacy, is that relatability. So someone doesn't feel alone, you know, like, that's what I like about music. That's why I listen to them. Like, oh my God, I'm not crazy. Someone's been through this. Someone's felt this. It's not crazy to feel it. Hi, my name is Jade Nicole. I'm 19 and I'm a singer, songwriter, slash musician. I am currently with uh, State Fair Records, a local label in Dallas, and um, I just put out my first EP back in June of this year. My mind's been running so many places, I don't know what to do. I see so many faces, hoping what is you. She started singing before she was really talking. I think her dad started her on that path of the love of music, just rocking yeah. her to sleep every night as an infant. I, I, I would rock her to sleep, and when I still had a voice, I would sing to her, you know, every night, you know, just sing her to sleep. My parents have been very supportive of any endeavor I've ever chosen, but definitely music because it's been, I think, the most consistent thing in my life and I've showed the most growth and just overall happiness in it. She's 10 from Lake Dallas, Texas. She loves working with special needs kids and singing and acting. She will be singing Alice. The Lake Cities every 4th of July, they have Lake Cities Idol. So she had seen it when she was nine, and she said, I, I want to do that. And I was like, well, you, I think that's for adults. She said, no, actually, once you're 10, you can, you can try out for it. So when she turned 10, she's like, okay, mom, I want to do this. And I was like, well, you probably need some voice lessons before you get up on a stage and compete with these adults, you know. So she took two voice lessons, she cut a little tape type thing, like a YouTube video, sent that to the city administration. They, they chose 10 people, and she was one of the ones they chose. So she got up there and she sang, and they had a first, second, third place. And she was the only child in the competition, and she won first place. She won $1,000 and some voice lessons, and that's when I started to think, I think we've got something here. Right before my junior year was when I went to my first open mic at LSA in Denton. And um, I was super nervous. I had my piano, because I was back when I only was playing piano, and I lugged it up those stairs. <laughs> it was one of the first times I ever played for an audience that wasn't necessarily my parents or other parents. It was for actual audience, like people from random places. And it was so fun, and I got really good feedback. And I was like, I want to do this more. Summer after my senior year is when I met with State Fair Records. They heard me at a little pizza shop and, um, the West End. I had never been to this open mic. I had never met the host, who is now a really good friend of mine, but it's the first time I ever met him. I was just doing it because I wanted to get more into Dallas. It just so happened the producer of the label happened to be there, heard me sing, and like I said, slapped down his car to something out of a movie. Just, you know, call me, I'm with a label. <laughs> when I figured out I'm not gonna do country. I, like my friend had told me, like, what do you listen to? And so I enlisted it and I was like, well, um, I, and I thought about it for a minute and I was like, well, I will say Taylor Swift is probably one of the biggest writing inspiration. I walk through the door with you, the air was cold, something about it felt like home somehow. 
then I thought, you know, I really love Lord. I'm obsessed with melodrama. And then I got really into her first pair heroin. I love her lyricism. It's very different. It's very different. In your color radio up, in your color radio up. We keep trying to talk about a slow motion. I'm watching our love. I'll be your quiet afternoon crush. Be a violent overnight rush. Make you crazy over my tight. But it's just a super kind of vibe. I also really love Stevie Nicks writing. It's very kind of vague. You don't necessarily know what it's about, but you like it, you know? But it makes sense in some weird way. I took my love and I took it down. I climbed a mountain and I turned around. And I saw my reflection in the snow covered hills of a landslide. And then I got really into Billie Eilish. I'll sit and watch your car burn with the fire that you started in me. But you never came back to ask it out. Go ahead and watch my heart burn with the fire that you started in me. But I'll never let you back to put it these more edgy artists, I guess, that I always listen to. So I started to definitely get inspired by them. And so my songs, they tell a story. And every song, and I'll tell everybody this, I've told many people in different interviews, like the EP, there's five songs, four out of the five are about the same person. And it gave me a lot to write about from different perspectives, different times in relationship, different closeness periods we had gotten, and different feelings I had felt. And so I really like telling, I guess, the same story in so many different ways and perspectives and attitudes. I kind of like the contradiction of I'm this little 411 girl from the small town in Texas and I sing, but I'm singing about these topics that are very uh, controversial, very out there. And um, I, I like that kind of contrast or contradiction in a way. I want that to be me in a way, some edge. And so when I put out the EP, I was like, this is, this is me, this is what I want. And I can't wait to dig deeper into it with my next project. Boy, I can't help it. I want to stay like that. If she's not and sleeping, uh, she's doing her music, you know, and she's really driven in that. Yeah, she's a very driven person. Like, um, she would come in from school, drop her books at the door, go straight to her bedroom, and she would do an hour or two of piano, an hour of guitar, and then around 10 o'clock at night, she'd come in and say, okay, I'm gonna do my homework. Can somebody help me? <laughs> We're like ready to go to bed, you know, but that music came first. It's always been the first thing she would do. And and um, she was never a, a kid that I had to say, okay, you need to get in there and practice. My mother says I will get better in time. That I'll find a soulmate upon her in crime. But lately I've been lazy and I've broken hearts again. All I can do with my music, it's my truth, and it's a place where I can say what I want to say without saying it. And I love putting emotion into it. When I get into a song, like, ooh, I can almost start crying at times. And I love that, because I'm just like, I want people to feel it. I really want you to feel I'm sad, you know, like. I'm sick and tired of starting fires with boys I don't want to love. I'm sick and tired of being a 